Hey guys, good morning. It's Ani and I'm having my coffee this morning. Fixing to get it going on this busy day. Uh, this coffee cup is from Dollywood. Um, I don't know if you guys ever been there, but she has the neatest eagles. Uh, uh, like she takes eagles and um, protects them and stuff and has like a pres preservation place or something. Anyway, that's really cool to me. So anyway, that's why I got this uh, mug. I love the, I love eagles. Uh, anyway, I am fixing to finish this coffee and I'm going to show you guys another what I eat in a day and I'm headed to the gym for sure today and I will take you guys along. So uh, let me get this finished and we'll get started. Okay, I feel like Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. I made another overnight oats and this time I just did a peanut butter flavor. Um, same recipe I used last time, half a cup of oats, half a cup of the unsweetened almond uh, vanilla milk, and then I did a tablespoon of my monk, fr uh, monk fruit, and this time I did two tablespoons of my PB Fit, and I stirred all this in with a half of a teaspoon of vanilla, and I let it sit overnight, and then the only thing I'm gonna do on top of this is I did one more tablespoon of my PB Fit with um, a tablespoon of sugar-free maple syrup. And then I just added a little water and I got this consistency. And I'm gonna drizzle this over the top and this will be my breakfast. So I'm kind of excited. Mm. Yep, there you go. So anyway, that's gonna be my breakfast this morning, getting some extra protein in, which I'm fixing to start kind of focusing in a little bit more on adding more protein uh, for the weight loss journey, but I'm trying to go slow and you know make sure we don't all get overwhelmed. But anyway, this will be my breakfast and uh, I'm fixing to go eat. I gotta get a lot of things done today, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, I am fixing to head out to the gym. Um, I've got my water ready. Make sure you're drinking your water. <clears throat> I have to tell myself that every day. And then I'm doing a string cheese and um, some watermelon for my snack. And then, like I said, I'm gonna head to the gym and get my exercise in for the day. Okay guys, I got my two miles in. I'm so excited because I've had a hard time getting to the gym lately. Um, but anyway, you just, you keep going, you make do, you don't, you know, just move forward. Um, but anyway, I wanted to tell you guys to, um, when I'm on cardio, like the treadmill, I will take the um, incline up to like three or four, for about three or four minutes, and then I'll bring it back down to flat. Um, just to kind of, I've seen on um, Instagram, a lot of people will do that just to kind of like you're going up a hill and you're coming down. So I do play around with that some to get extra uh, calorie burn in my cardio. And then also another thing, I am starting back on my strength training. And I'm going to say this, I would recommend you get on a YouTube video and see different type of like, you know, have some hand weights at home if you don't have a gym and just do arm workouts, leg workouts, ab workouts, and a lot of them don't even use weights um, because everybody's body is different. And like, for instance, I have a pulled um, tendon in one of my elbows, so I have to be careful with that. So I don't feel comfortable showing you guys like strength training because that's not my, I'm not no way near like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, degreed in that or anything to tell you or, or qualified to tell you that. So, I would encourage you guys to experiment with different strength training. What I did for me, finally, at my age, after years of trying to do so many things, is I hired a personal trainer for three months. That's all I needed for her to get me on a program that when the three-month contract is up, I can do it on my own. So, that's kind of like what I do with my strength training. So, I just wanted to share that with you guys that I am doing that. Just like I said, I don't feel qualified to teach that or anything, but I do encourage you to do some strength training for muscle build and, you know, it just helps when you're losing weight. Um, we all get saggy skin and that kind of tightens that up too. So, um, anyway, I'm headed home to do some lunch and I uh, just wanted to share with you guys. 
Okay guys, I'm getting ready to make my lunch. I am going to take some leftovers that I had in my last video with my Mexican pizza. And I've had these in the fridge and I'm gonna use these up so I don't waste them. I'm gonna do two of the corn, uh, the thin corn shells. And then I'm going to heat up probably an ounce of the taco meat and maybe one eighth a cup of the, um, free, the fat, fat free refried beans. And then I'll probably do a tablespoon of enchilada sauce and some um, olives on top and just kind of make like a lunch uh, enchilada just real fast, easy peasy. So let's get these put together. Okay, I've got my one eighth of a cup of uh, fat-free refried beans and I'm gonna put about one ounce of the turkey meat on each, well, not on each, I'm spreading one ounce between the two like this, and I'm gonna roll these up and put them in the microwave for just a few seconds, and then we'll put our toppings on. Okay, so I'm gonna roll these up, and then I'm gonna to top it with the enchilada sauce now that this is heated up, and throw it right back in the microwave for just about 10 seconds or so. And just wanna get everything heated through, and um, then I'm gonna put um, I forgot to put my cheese out, but I'm going to do a little cheese on it too. But let's get this coated. This is probably going to be the equivalent of two tablespoons. All right. All right, so I've got a, about two tablespoons of fat-free cheddar. And then I'm going to put some olives and some um, tomatoes on top. And I am going to finally top this off with my very favorite restaurant style salsa, which is this. If you guys haven't tried this, you're missing out. This is so good. So I'm gonna use some of this. And then on the side, I think I'm going to use, let me show you here. Okay guys, so I've got my, hang on, I don't know if you can see me. Okay. Okay, I've got my two enchiladas here. And then I got these chips. I'm going to use these as my tortilla chips. And half of a serving of these is 18. It's, this is just the, um, I believe this is the Walmart brand, or no, the Kroger brand veggie chips. And I've got um, 18 or 16 of these and some salsa to dip it in. So there's my lunch. And hang on. Yeah, there's a better picture I've got for you. Two enchiladas, some chips, and salsa, and I'm fixing to go eat this, and I will see you guys in a couple of hours for my snack. So I got a little sweet tooth going today, so I'm gonna have one of my Weight Watcher Giant Fudge Bars. I had never tried these until Publix had them buy one, get one, so I went ahead and grabbed a box, and I actually like them. They kind of remind me of a Wendy's Chocolate Frosty, so... That will be a little bit of a snack I'm having after lunch, and um, I'll let you guys know what else I eat today. Hey guys, I've been running all afternoon, and I haven't eaten anything since I had the fudge, um, chocolate fudge pop. So I'm fixing to cook supper, but I wanted to show you guys, I'm gonna eat about a cup of my strawberries I just picked up from Sam's. They were so red and ripe, and I'm fixing to dig into those. And I uh, just wanted to show that to you guys, and then I'll be um, cooking supper here in just a minute. Hey guys, so I'm fixing to do my supper. Um, I was going to show you, it's very easy. I'm just kind of making this recipe up as I go along. Um, but I'm basically going to take some chicken breast and I'm going to chop those up, season them, and then throw them in the air fryer like in little um, like nuggets and kind of like the grilled flavor is what I'm going for. Then I'm going to take a bag of my spinach here and saute that get it sauteed down, add the chicken in, and then we're gonna add some um, Alfredo on top and add a little bit of noodles in. I'm probably gonna use less pasta than I would for a normal casserole just to keep the points and the calories down, but it'll give that pasta um, flair. So that will be my supper tonight, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put all this together, and I'm probably just gonna have a side salad with it. So uh, we'll make this easy tonight. It's the middle of the week, and we need easy, right? So let's get started. Okay, so I've got my um, chicken cubed up here. This is one and a half chicken breast. And you need to um, do what you need to do for your, like if you have a bigger family, you may wanna add more chicken. Um, but that's all we're gonna eat. And then I'm gonna add salt, pepper, and garlic and give this a good um, stir. And then I'm gonna throw these, like I said, in the air fryer. 
And uh, while those are cooking, we'll get the um, sausage wilted down in the skillet and add the seasoning or the sauce to that. And this shouldn't take too long to get together, to cook up together. Okay, so while I have the chicken in the air fryer, I did about half a bag of this um, spinach that I got um, a few days ago, and I've got it in my skillet. I, all I did was put some of my um, olive oil spray on there, and I'm going to let these kind of wilt down slowly. And then I have one ounce of my protein pasta because I can track it easier if I do my own pasta on my side and then I cook my kids separately. So um, let these get cooked up, and then we will see how all this looks here in just a minute. Okay, and so you can see how crazy it is spinach does go down in volume so I'm just going to add my Alfredo sauce and I think all I'm going to put on here is some salt pepper and a little minced garlic and let this kind of simmer for a few minutes and that's all I'm going to add to this this is going to be so good okay guys so this is two ounces of my grilled chicken bites that I threw in the air fryer I went ahead and weighed those out and I'm just kind of showing you how easy it is to put all this together for yourself and then still cook for your family if you have one. And if it's just you, you're, you know, it's this easy. So then I've got my one ounce of pasta drained. And then I did half a cup of the uh, sauce with the spinach. And that is it. And you just give this a stir. And this would be also be good because I'm terrible at adding up like how the cups measure out to different calories and points. So if you want to meal prep this, you can do it separately like this and you know what you're eating. So there's my delicious supper. And I'm going to pair this with a Greek salad. And that is what I'm having for supper tonight. So let me go eat this and I will talk to you guys soon. Hey, sorry, I just realized I didn't show y'all what I put in my Greek salad, which it was extremely simple. It was just shredded iceberg lettuce. Then I did uh, out, or half an ounce of the feta. This is not the fat-free, so it's going to be higher in points and calories, but I highly recommend getting the fat-free feta. I can't tell any difference. I just, they just didn't have it at my store. So I did, I did the feta, and then I did about five of my olive, the Kalamata olives, those black Greek olives. And then really my dressing was just my red wine vinegar. And so it was that easy. Super easy, but super delicious. And oh my gosh, y'all, this pasta that I made tonight is delicious. It will be on my staple um, menu. It's definitely going in the books for, we're going to redo this one a lot. So because it's so easy, that's what I love about it. It's easy and delicious. And um, anyway, I'm glad I shared it with you guys. Hope you'll try it. See you soon. Okay. So I've been wanting to try this. So before I let you go for this video, I have taken two of my 50 calorie light um, string cheese. I put them in the freezer overnight. They've been sitting there today. And I'm gonna attempt to make an air fryer um, mozzarella cheese stick for less points and calories that I've seen again on my Pinterest that's been sitting there for years. We're breaking out, we're going big. Um, but I'm going to use eight grams of this Parmesan crusted shake and bake, and we're going to roll the, um, it says to freeze it in the recipe, so I'm going to roll the frozen cheese stick in the egg, and then in the Parmesan, um, crisp stuff, and we're going to put it in the air fryer for 10 minutes on like 400, I think is what it said. So let's see how this comes out. Okay, guys, I have uh, measured this on my scale. This happens to be 16 grams. You can basically double uh, the grams in this before you hit two points. So you can go to 16 grams, and then, of course, the calories don't go up that much. Um, okay, I've got my eggs scrambled, and so I'm going to take one of the cheese sticks, and we're going to roll it around in the egg, and then I'm going to move it around in the mixture, and we're going to place it in the air fryer here. So, and what I guess another way if you're counting calories like me is you could do egg whites. Of course, I don't think much egg is going on this stick, so I don't know how much that'll really matter. And then we're just going to roll this around, just coat it really good. Okay, that looks good. 
looks very easy and good. And of course, you can use any uh, flavor of the uh, shake and bake. All right, so I'm gonna stick that one in the air fryer. And I guess I should open both of them. Now my hands are gross. But I hope this turns out really good because these cheese sticks, I eat them all the time and they're low calorie and point. And then to add a little flavoring. And then you can use pizza sauce or spaghetti sauce, whichever one you want to, and dip it in there. And um, I think the lady in the recipe, she does, she takes the sticks and breaks them in half. So I guess you could technically eat one and be considered like two pieces. So it just depends on what you're hungry for. But my kids love these and I know they're not really healthy when it comes down to the ones they fry and put them in the grocery store. So maybe this will be a second option. This one is ready. Okay. So I may take a little bit of extra of this and just put it over the top in case I missed a place. And that's it. So I'm gonna stick these in the air fryer and let's see how they turn out. Well, there they are guys, fresh out of the air fryer. Um, they smell good, so let's give them a try. All right, there's one. I cut a piece off because it's hot, but let's give it a try. Pretty good. I mean, obviously it's not your fried mozzarella stick. I like it. It's something, honestly, if I were to dip this in some um, pizza sauce or something, it would give me the same satisfaction as a fried cheese stick. Hey, for a low calorie, low point option, this is good. And you know, like I said, I use the Parmesan, but you could use the regular and just do regular coated. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of good to me. So let me say this. You can do anything you want on a weight loss journey as long as you take everything in stride and do it in moderation. I can have two of these mozzarella sticks for whatever points and calories, or I can have one regular fried cheese stick from wherever you order it out. You just have to learn that when you want it, you just, if you want the real thing, just eat less. And then if you want something similar, but you're hungry, eat several of these. So I am going to finish eating these tonight and that will wrap up this video for my day. And, um, and, you know, like I said, I may try a different flavor and see, but I mean, I love Parmesan, so kind of gives it an Italian flair. Another thing you might want to do, and I may try this the next time I make them, is put some Italian seasoning in the um, crust part. Mix that in and give it more of an Italian scent or flavor. But these will do tonight. So, thank you again. Hang on just a minute. Okay, sorry, I had to finish biting that. I just wanna say that I am so humbled and tickled to death that I have over 500 subscribers now. And I will never forget all the ones who started with me and the ones joining in in the journey. Like your number, like if you were number 465 or whatever subscriber, you y'all are all important to me because y'all are what keeps me going it gives me such joy to do this for not only myself but other people and i want to help other people because like i said some people have just struggled with weight all their life and it's finally i've prayed about this hard and it's finally hit me that my slow consistent uh weight loss is the way to go for me personally and I want to share it with whoever else needs that encouragement and uh, tips and whatever. So, like I said, nothing goes unnoticed. Comments, subscribing, whatever you may be doing. Every person is loved and accounted for in my heart. And y'all will never know what you mean to me. So, thank you so much for supporting me on this channel. And uh, I hope I am supporting you back with giving you good ideas. So, Anyway, I will see you in my next video and you guys have a good week.